Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and here we go. I'm going to give my playoff prediction for the Patriots in the Broncos game. Uh, There's a little gameplay in the background. I'm actually playing it right now. Um, okay, okay, never seen that before. Ball kicked out of bounds, but um, I'm just going to talk, and as long as it takes, I'll just play the game. Uh, so it's the 3.30 game on... Um, well, let me put LeGarrette Blunt in. But it's a 3.30 game on Sunday uh, in... Up mile high. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good game. I'm looking. I'm really excited for it. Uh, probably one of the game. It, it's it's the game that I wanted when the playoffs first um, were announced or whatever when they got locked, not announced, but when they were locked and uh, they couldn't change. Like everybody was in. Like the Patriots and the Broncos had locked up the number one and number two seed. Okay, Legarrette Blunt play one fumbles the ball. Uh, but uh, when when they were locked in and like. You knew they were going to be one and two, and they couldn't play until the AFC Championship. That was the good stuff. It's what I was looking forward to. Uh, but let's get into my prediction on this. So the real the real keys to this is the Denver offense versus the Patriots defense. Uh, the Patriots do have a really good defense. Um, they're missing a bunch of good players, but okay, I just messed that up. But they're missing a lot of good players like uh, Vince Wolfork, Gerard Mayo. Uh, let's see here, who else are they missing? Uh, I think they're missing Brandon Spikes right now. I don't think he's playing. Um, they missed, They lost Tommy Kelly. And then they're missing guys on offense, but that's not what I'm talking about. But the Denver offense is is the best. Okay, another kick out of... What is going on? But uh, another crazy... Uh, they, they outshined like, the Patriots um, with Randy Moss. I don't know. I still think that was more impressive. Uh don't get me wrong, the, I, I would say they're about even. Even though Peyton threw for more touchdowns, I think that Patriots offense and the Broncos offense right now, that would have been one hell of a, a game to watch. But um, And then it's also going to come down to the defense of the Broncos versus the running of the Patriots. But not just that, you're going to have Tom Brady. Um, it's it's not the same beast as when they played the Chargers, and the Chargers had the, they wanted to run the ball, but... The only thing is, Philip Rivers is a much different quarterback than Tom Brady. Tom Brady doesn't care if he doesn't. He wants to win more than he cares about his passing yards. Uh, but he will throw the ball. <laughs> Unlike Rivers, uh, Belichick will switch up the game plan. He won't leave it the same as uh, Mike McCoy did. He waited until way too late to change up his game plan. Uh, Bill Belichick will change his up if it doesn't work after one drive, which is something that's a, that's a good coach right there. And uh, John Fox will change it up, too, uh, if the Patriots are running over them or if they change it up and Tom Brady um, is lighting them up. You'll see changes. Uh, but let me get into my actual predictions here. Uh, I think the – I'm going to go for it. I'll go for it. But I think the Patriots' offense uh, will get the best of the Denver defense. But I, all think, I also think the Denver offense will get the best of the Patriots' defense. I think it will be a – I don't think either defense will really be able to stop the other one. I don't I I don't foresee this game being under 24 points. I don't see anybody being under 24. Stupid connect picked up my voice. <laughs> uh but the I don't see the game getting under 24 points. The Patriots I think get if the if the Patriot if the game doesn't get over 24 points, the Patriots win. That's just my opinion. Uh, if the game gets over 40 points, the Broncos win. But I think it's going to be it's going to be quite close, and I think the Broncos will have the best of the Patriots early. I think at halftime it'll be around 17-7 Broncos, and uh, I think the I think at the end of the third though, uh, we'll see it be around 24-17 uh, still Broncos, and I think in the fourth quarter. Uh, it will be 21, or it'll be not 21, it'll be 31 27 Patriots. Uh, I just think the Patriots will win. Ta Peyton Manning is statistically and historically not good in the playoffs. Uh, I mean, he's top, top two, top three, top four greatest quarterbacks of all time. And his younger brother, who is the most inconsistent player in the NFL right now, pretty much, um, has more rings than he does. And so I don't. He's he's just inconsistent. He's been in the playoffs so many times. Uh, he got beat by he he has a problem with the Chargers in the playoffs. 
I remember, what was it, 2006, not 6, it was 2007 and 2009 or 2008, uh, they played, the, the Colts played the Patriots, or the, the, uh, Chargers in the playoffs, and they got beat, uh, both years, they were close games, but they did get beat, uh, but that, that's beside the point, but I just don't know, I don't really believe in Peyton Manning in the playoffs. I still, I think if they make it to the Super Bowl, I don't think uh, Peyton Manning lets them lose. But that's not the prediction I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about the Patriots game. I think the Patriots will win it by a score of 31 to 27. Uh, I don't think I, I can't foresee them getting beat. Uh, I just think it's just been that kind of year, and I think Tom Brady wants it so bad. Uh, without not having Gronkowski, Hernandez in jail, um, losing Welker to the Broncos, uh, losing Brandon Lloyd because they didn't re-sign him. I don't know why, because their wide receivers are Magunda. Uh, but then they also didn't. They also didn't. Um, they didn't really get him any help in free agency. Danny Amendola hasn't been very good. If it wasn't for. Uh, if it wasn't for Julian Edelman um, rising as a star, kind of, for the Patriots, they would be in so much trouble. And then LeGarrette Blunt playing huge. Uh, but I don't know. That's just my prediction. I just think the Patriots, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have a base reason on. I think the Patriots are going to win this game because. But I think, I think it's all going to boil down to offense versus defense. Patriots offense outplays the Denver, like, if the Patriots offense versus the Denver defense, if the Patriots play better against that defense than the Broncos can play against the Patriots defense, I think it's whatever offense plays, outplays the other, I don't know how to say this, Some you guys gotta know what I'm meaning, like, if Tom Brady has the best of the, has a better, like, not, if the Patriots run and pass the ball better than the Broncos run and pass the ball, I think they win. I don't think th I don't think turnovers will matter. I think maybe the Patriots have two and the Broncos have one or something like that. I still think whoever controls the time of possession and whoever controls um what am I trying to say now? Field position and whoever has the the most consistent drives. Like if the Patriots have a drive that goes 70 yards in 10 plays and then they don't get another drive for points for another five drives and then the Broncos maybe have three drives in a row go for 70 maybe don't get a point uh go 60 get three points and then go 90 and get seven that I think the team that can do that is going to win uh because I think consistency in this game is going to mean a lot or the one that can get a consistent run game if the Patriots can get three four or five yards of carry and then ever so often bust one for 20 then I think they I think they'll win or if the Broncos can if Manning can get Decker and Welker um, on short routes and complete them to him and hit Demarius Thomas over the top once or twice I think the Broncos will win if both happen it's just gonna it's gonna be one great game I don't I don't have anything else to say about that I just think it's gonna be one great game I think both teams uh, I think Peyton, I think this is all the only way that it should come down to. If Peyton happens to retire after this year, then this is how it should end. Either him beating Tom Brady or him losing to Tom Brady. Uh, but I don't think he retires after this year. I think maybe if they win the Super Bowl, he retires. Maybe. But I don't think he retires. I, I think he's still got one or two more years left in him. Uh, but that's just me. I, th I don't know his... His injury that uh, put him out for a season, I don't know how well that, like, it seems to be holding up well, but you don't really see behind the scenes and everything, and I highly doubt he's going to talk about it, so, but you don't really see any of that, so you don't really know how well that's holding up, uh, so, you, only he can tell when uh, his time's up, I don't want any of that Brett Favre shit, though, I want him to retire and stay retired, I don't want any of the Brett Favre coming back, <laughs> I want to. I want to see him retire. Get his number retired. By I, I, I'm guessing he'll probably get it retired as a Colt. I could be wrong though, because uh, like Ladanian Tomlinson got his retired as a Charger, and he played two years for the Jets. But that was a little different. He wasn't the star at the Jets. 
Peyton Manning's the star at the Broncos. Uh, but you never know. I, I'm thinking he'll get it. But that, that's, once again, I'm off topic. I'm not talking about the playoffs anymore. Uh, but I am looking forward to this game more than the uh, the Seahawks-San Francisco game, which I'll be talking about next. Uh, because you got to see, we got to see that twice during the regular season. We only got to see this once, and it was one hell of a game. You got, you can't tell me that it was, it wasn't in the top five games of the whole year, unless you were. Oh, it's pit. Oh, oh, dropped. I think that was Ian Nacho, but uh, you can't sit there and tell me that that wasn't one of the top five games of the whole year that come back unless you're a Broncos fan I guess because then it wasn't very good for you but even if I wasn't a Patriots fan it would still be one of the best games of the year for me okay I'm gonna let this clock tick down but I still I still really enjoyed it like I loved that game last year with the Patriots and the uh, 49ers where the Patriots almost came back and I wanted the Patriots to win so yeah that's how much okay time out time out uh, but I enjoy, I just enjoy good games. I, I do enjoy my blowouts when it's my favorite team playing, but I enjoy my uh, extremely close game. Okay, wind. <laughs> okay, but that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what your guys' predictions are for the the AFC Championship game. Once again, I got the Patriots 31-27 uh, in a close one. I'm thinking, I'm not thinking final drive. I'm thinking Patriots score with about four and a half minutes left, and give it back to Peyton. I think Peyton drives it down to about the 40. They punt it, and then they never get the ball back. I think they punt it around three minutes and never get the ball back. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.